Hi guys, this is Zach from Watches on You, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Oris Atelier Caliber 113. So this is one of Oris's timepieces that actually uses an in-house Oris movement. Uh, some notable features of this timepiece include it has a business calendar where it will actually show you the number week of the year. Um, it also has a 10-day power reserve in the movement, which is another very uh, kind of impressive feature about this timepiece, but first I'm going to go over this watch's case. So the case is a 43 millimeter stainless steel case. It's entirely polished all the way around, and this is meant to be kind of a classier looking Oris. It's supposed to be worn, I'd say mainly with a suit. It'd be a great watch to wear to work, uh, and it's made to be less sporty than some of their other timepieces. It definitely has the uh, kind of design of being a business timepiece. So now now that we've gone over the case, let's get into the dial. So the dial, as you can see, there's a lot going on here. So on the left sub dial, you have the running seconds, but then you also have the date window there. So that's the that's your regular date. And then right above the center stack, we have the hours and minutes. You can see that you have the day of the week. And then on the right subdial, you have your power reserve going up to 10 days. And then this red hand right here actually points to the week of the year. So that's what's known as a business calendar, and it lets you know the, both the month, because it, that's how it sorts the weeks, and the week of the year. And apparently this is a bigger kind of calendar type that is more often used in Europe than it is in the United States. I certainly have never seen a watch that has a calendar like this. I don't really, I'm not exactly sure on what the practical aspects of this would be. If you actually know, uh, please leave something in the comments. I'd be curious to see uh, the purposes of why you'd want uh, to know the number week of the year. But so that's what this watch contains. So that's just kind of an interesting little feature of this. But the main thing is that 10 day power reserve. So this watch will actually go back to the movement now. So it has an exhibition case back. I'm just going to open this up so we can see it. So you can see the exhibition case back around here. The finishing you can see is just brushing over the whole movement. It's very nice brushing, but there isn't too much artistic design to this. However, you can see that massive barrel right in the center of the film right now. Now that's where the mainspring resides behind and that's what gets to this power reserve and it is absolutely massive way bigger than really on any other timepiece i don't know another timepiece that has a larger single barrel than this there are a lot of watches with powers super high power reserves but i haven't really seen many of them that make use of only a single barrel typically they'll have a double barrel system so that just makes this watch a bit more efficient to manufacture because you don't have to have two barrels and also a l gives a little less to go wrong because you only have one barrel as well. Now, however, there's one downside to only having one barrel where, so in a double barrel system, the as you wind one barrel, the uh, the barrel you are directly winding will also wind the second barrel. So you're basically winding both barrels at once, and the winding will go much quicker. With having a single barrel, it takes many more turns to wind this all the way up. So if you look at the power reserve and see how many times I'm turning it, I'm turning this quite a bit here, and it's barely moving whatsoever. So that is definitely a downside between the single barrel and the double barrel movement designs. So it is an easier manufacturer and a bit more efficient design, however it does make it much much harder to wind the watch, well, well not harder, it makes it, it takes much longer to wind the watch up. However being it's got a 10 day power reserve, you'd only have to do that once every 10 days, so it shouldn't be a huge issue. So now let's put this on the wrist. So the 43 millimeter size is definitely a bit large for a typical dress watch. I mean, I think they had to do that to make way for that barrel and then the rest of the movement functions. Um, it's not, it's not like impossible to wear with a suit. I think it would still be great. I just, it would have been nice to see a 40 millimeter size, but I think this size definitely still works. If you have a larger size, wish, a larger size wrist, this will definitely still be a good size for you. And it is quite thin though, however, so it will easily fit under the cuff of a suit as well. So 
overall this watch i mean the, because this watch has an in-house movement and it has a bit stepped up finishing on everything the price is a lot higher than at your typical oris this watch comes in at a price of five thousand seven hundred and thirty dollars which is a lot for an oris however it does have that 10 day power reserve it's got an all in-house movement it does have brilliant case finishing the polishing is very well done and it has a uh, dial with many different textures applied indexes as well as many other many different functions so that price is pretty well justified in this price point i think it would be the only thing is it's that at this price point it's coming into contact with some other even bigger names it's you're getting starting to get rolexes at this price point omega is established at this price point and breitling are all established at this price point so this does offer a lot of other features that those watches don't have this price point i just think being up at this person now they're with the big boys and it could be a little bit harder for them to uh, i guess justify this to the average consumer however again the movement technology and everything in this watch i think does just justify that price fairly well. So I'd like to mention that we're at Continental Diamond in St. Louis Park, Minnesota. They lent us this piece for the purpose of this review, and I would like to let you know that I'll be leaving a link in the description to their website as well as our channel Amazon store where you can check out some of our favorite kind of watches, watch tools, and accessories uh, on Amazon, and we do earn a slight commission when you purchase anything on there, so it helps support the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.